brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. What's up, Dan? <laughs> How are you? How are you? Dude, we are rocking on to the break of dawn, my brother. What's up? Uh, question I got for you. Um, I've been divorced for about you know, about seven years, and uh, my current girlfriend, I've been dating her since um, I've been divorced uh, for about seven years. Uh, just kind of curious. She's, you know, I guess traditional, and I am too in a sense, but um, she, you know, had been pushing to get married. Um, I don't have anything against marriage or anything, um, even though I've been divorced. Uh, but I guess kind of my main issue uh, with it is, you know, I just, um, I became, you know, wealthy here, you know, recently, uh, probably in the last, you know, five years. Uh, I, I have my own company uh, that I run, and I'm very successful at it. And, um, it just, it just makes me think of, you know, if, if that's a smart move, I I've been through the court system. It's not fair. It's really not fair for anybody. You know, they're just bloodthirsty, you know, tyrants. And I don't really ever want to be in that situation ever again. Um, you know, I know you can do prenups and whatnot, but in the end, those things are, you know, like toilet paper. Innocence. I mean, um, I mean, they're, they're not. But, but here, here, let, here, let's let's. What is it about your girlfriend of seven years that you don't trust? Well, it's not that I don't trust. It I is. Mean, I do. it, it, it is. It is. It is. You don't trust her because you built a life for almost a decade with her. Yet over here, your language is I've become wealthy. So you've created a life of your own inside of this seven year relationship. Why don't you trust her? Is it because you got burned bad with your ex and you're dragging no, that actually, old relationship? No, actually I didn't. No, okay. I, I didn't get burned at all through my ex. I, I actually got burned through my parents Okay, and it's still kind of ongoing in, in a sense, but um, it's just that, it, it, you know, in a sense, it, it's, it, it, I, I don't know. I just, I, I have this life that, you know, I want to, travel the world and, and do these things and, and I, I'll be able to do that and it's not the responsibility both but, Jade you know, and I, I have, have traveled the world with our spouses and it's been infinitely better than traveling around by ourselves yeah because when I went I wasn't like Sam this is what I can afford to do sorry you can't come because you can't afford to do that I wasn't like I'm going to ride on this plane you ride on that plane and I'm going to stay in this hotel because I can afford it. And you stay in that hotel uh, that's, you know, a couple stars smaller. And I get to eat at this restaurant because I can afford it. But you've got to order the side salad. Do you see how kind of crazy that sounds? Yeah, I understand. And, and I've been wrestling with that for years, you know. But it's like, it, it's also a thing, too, where it's like, you know, I've risked stuff and I've worked my ass off to get, you know, where yeah. I'm at and I don't want to give that up. And like, but you, okay, let's stop right there though. Stop right there. Challenge that thought. Give it up to who is the woman you've been with for seven years, the kind of person that will take you for everything. She'll do you wrong. She'll cheat on you. She'll steal from you and take half of your stuff and take off. Is that who she is? No, she, no, that's no. That's okay. Then why are you carrying well. that story around? Because I can't wait to get wealthy with my wife as my partner. I can't wait. Because I've met a bunch of miserable, wealthy, single dudes. Yeah, and I understand. I, it, it, you know what I'm saying? It's, like, it's I, just been taught that, you know, I've worked so hard and so long. And, and it's, and it's not she, that I'm not But she's been with you. Living. She's been with you for, for 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 all five of those years. Well, can I can I pull another thread on this? Um, well, I, the first question I have is, how wealthy are you? Well, I'm 41. Um, you know, I don't know. I'd say probably like 1.2, 1. 1.5. 1. Okay. Okay. Good. Someone in there. And you know, it, the, the thing is, is but a, a lot of my wealth is in my company because everything sure. I have, I own. Of course. And you know, I own my house. I own my cars. I don't owe. I hate loans. I absolutely hate loans. And, and so, I refuse to ever get a loan. And that's the that's you know? the that's the thread I want to pull. Something about what you're saying about you, you believe the opposite is true about her because you keep saying how much of a hard worker you are and how much you hate debt. 
that's making me believe that you that's why I want to know more about the fiance because you're not married yet so you don't have to do anything yet but do you uh, if you can be honest I don't know if she listens to the show but is there part of you that's like hey I feel like she's not a hard worker I feel like she doesn't have the same views as me on debt and money like can I pull that thread a little bit no, she, she's actually a hard worker. She really is. But it, it, but in life, to be successful, you have to work harder on yourself than on your job, is what Jim Rohn would say. And I'm a fluent listener of, of him. I never thought I'd be ever taking advice from a dead man before, but the guy was, was amazing. I, I listened to a lot of this stuff. You know, uh, hey, Dan, people... Dan I, think you need to, I think you need to break up with your girlfriend today. You you don't think that you guys are on the same Set her free. level? Set her free. Because well, I don't. I don't. I, I, I know you. I know you're not going to. And I know I'm just a knucklehead on a podcast. I get that on the radio. But you don't trust her. You don't have a. You want to have this this life that you're creating alone, yet have her as a hood ornament. You, you no, say, I'm not trying to do that. I, I think I, no, I think we're able to build, you know, as a team. But you, you but keep saying, just, "I, I've built this money. I've done this stuff. This is mine. I don't want anyone to take it from me." Mm-hmm. And you've been well, with the same woman for seven years. And and let me add to that, what I would be listening for. Let me juxtapose it with what I would be listening for on a healthy side. And John, you're you're the guy who knows this, so you tell me. If I hear someone talk about their soon-to-be spouse. I also I don't hear them say, well, I do this, I do this. I hear them say, oh, man, and my husband, he's so good at holding me accountable. And I'm not great with this, but he's so good with that. And even though I'm, you know, this is one of the things I'm good at, but he adds so much to the equation. Like, you're constantly balancing each other out. I haven't heard you say one good thing about her. You haven't said Or one you thing that she we. brings to the table or how she's an asset. Like, I'm looking for that sort of language, so... Well, I mean, she is, you know, the other thing too is, is, you know, I have, you know, two girls that are almost grown and she has, you know, two boys that are almost grown. Here, here's the, the, here's the equation that I'm really stuck in. And I'm, I'm just having contemplations about really the whole thing is my business. I, I need to get a commercial, you know, shop. Okay. I need, I need a big place because I've been running this out of my house and I, I've exploded my house. I have, it, it, my house is, is my work, okay, and it's just it's too much. So I have to sell, and I need to move forward with this. And I've been kind of wanting to move to, you know, like either Tennessee or Texas or something because that's – I just, you know, got a calling to go to either one of those two places. I really love Tennessee. Been there many times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get, to, the, um, get, to, the, get to what you're talking about. We're just, you... So, you know, she doesn't really want to move. Okay, you know, that's it right there. That's it right there. That's it right there. Unless she's married, unless she's married, which I understand. I, I totally understand. You don't want to marry her. Uh, you don't want to marry her. And you're not, no, you no, should I not marry no, her just that. to get you to come with her. You no, should no, not marry her for that. No, no, I understand that. But it, it, it's dragging the kids and, you know, resetting everything and, and getting a bigger, you know, like, a, you know, you got six people girlfriend so, girl, girlfriend if you're listening r- go it's time to leave hey, it's you, time to go on Dan, because you let her your go, guy man. is not you gotta let her go here's why you've been with the same person for seven years you can say what you want but behavior is a language you don't trust her you don't want to build a future with her you're annoyed at how big the house is going to get you're gonna have to get a shop and she might not be called the texas and she's too traditional all these things and i believe you probably did get burned hard and it's it's the worst. And your parents are still a mess. You got kids involved. I get it. Let her go. Mm-hmm. Don't drag her behind the car of your life.